2018 marked the end of many things for me. It was the end of a 10-year relationship and the end of my time in Los Angeles. 2019 began with me living with my folks back in South Dakota and working in healthcare. I know I talk about how cold it is a lot, but it's so cold it's hard to move my face and it hurts. <laughs> On the horizon was a big, life-changing move to Japan. Good morning everyone from Japan. This is my first morning in my very own apartment in Japan. Yay for a new adventure! The transition to moving to Japan was actually not so easy. It was super cold. There were a ton of challenges that hey I had guys. to face. I still haven't showered. But I got my new car. Ah! And so I might actually just live in my car because it's warmer in the car than it is in my apartment. <laughs> Super cool story. I just took a little test drive around my little parking lot and kind of down one of the roads. And it was just... I was driving with the brake on the whole freaking time. A very big <sighs> change. Welcome to Japan! So I have turned my windshield wipers on like 47 times because every time I go to turn my blinker on, I'm turning my windshield wipers on and then I can't remember how to turn the blinker on. Oh, this is so much fun. But it is kind of, but... <laughs> Okay, I just got lost, but I found Uniqlo. Hi guys. So it's 7.46 right now. My neighbor's alarm has been going off since 7 a.m. Okay, I just had my first I hate Japan moment. And I think this moment has been coming on for a while because if you've noticed my other posts, um, it's been so freaking cold. It's so cold. I feel like I haven't really gotten to enjoy Japan at all because I've been running around trying to figure out how to not be freezing in this apartment. <laughs> um, so now I'm having some food that I burnt on my induction heater because I didn't know how to do that either. <laughs> uh, reality, snack, snack, snack. So that's where I'm at in life. I also had quite a few learning experiences. I started learning a whole new culture and a whole new language and that resulted in some pretty interesting moments. One of the big struggles of living in a foreign country where you do not speak the language is that you pretty much have no clue what you're doing most of the time. And it's kind of amazing the challenge of not being able to communicate but then overcoming the communication and language barriers. It's like, it's both a really strong struggle but it's also really cool when things work out. Okay, this just happened. I got in on the left-hand side of the car. Realized I need to sit over there. It's a good night. <laughs> so I just had my first unofficial day of school. The first thing that I can think is just so much bowing. It's one of the challenges of being um, friends or in relationships with people from completely different cultures is that some of the things that you really find funny just don't translate quite right. Hello. So it's June and while some people are sweating with 80, 90 degree weather, I'm in my apartment with two sweatshirts on and I had to break out my sweatpants again. Yay, mountain life. Ah. Trying to teach them fa 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 fork. All sad, we were like fa 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 fa. Yay, learning English. And I was like, Oh my god, are you literally just gonna smell my breath right now? I just got done eating Chinese food. And then, some guy gave me his number and I was like, oh, really? This whole thing? Thank you. So it turns out I'm eating like, probably 700 to 900 calories worth of granola. In Japan, this is what you get in the mail. It's trash, literally, it's just trash. And I went to Tokyo quite a few times, which was really exciting. 
I gained a little weight because I ate a lot of food. Japan has way too many yummy things, and I want to try them all ASAP. Mmm. That was unfortunately really good. Damn it. Oh my gosh, they had that strawberry thing there again, and I got it. I may or may not be walking to a bakery. Lord, help me. So we did try it. It was so weird. This is an unfortunate find at Family Mart because they're so good. It tastes like buttered corn, like sweet buttered corn. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> I also did a lot of hiking and camping. It's not something that I'm used to doing, but it's a lot of fun to do in Japan. And I had really fun friends to go with too. blocks away from the parking structure. I'm literally just wandering around right now trying to figure out where this walking path is. Okay, so I'm essentially just walking on a sidewalk down a super long road. Oh my gosh, you can see just how sweaty I am. I'd actually, um, I don't know where I am. Full sweat effect. Irma Gerd, I adventured the heck out of myself today. Like you can see this, oh my gosh, oh, when I turn to the side, it's even worse. Irma Gerd, I made it home. I'm feeling a little abused from all of the walking and stuff that I've been doing. Does it say, watch out for bears because they'll eat your face? Yeah, I think especially around this time. Seven awesome. Yeah, we're soaked! We're really soaked! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> left me to set up my own tent. Thanks guys. Ta-da! Girl tent! And I walked. I walked so much around my neighborhood because I wanted to explore what my area had to offer. And the best way, in my opinion, to do that is to walk. I'll just walk around in this cool Japanese neighborhood. See what I can see. I am a hot, sweaty mess right now because I've basically walked around my entire town. <laughs> so I went for a walk and now it's raining and thundering and I'm soaked. I wanted to take advantage of this really nice night by going for a walk and getting some sweets. 
Um, and I'm just being attacked by bugs this whole time. It's super annoying. And all that walking built up my leg muscles, so eventually I started running. And now I'm a crazy running person, which I never thought I would be. I don't love it, but I do it anyway. I don't think you can see my sweat, but I just ran two miles with a few stops, but I haven't ran two miles probably ever. So, yay, because I eat enough bugs. Oh my God, there's even bugs on my face. Oh, that's freaking gross. I just ran two miles straight without stopping. Well, I was like 0 0.404 miles off. I'm like a fiend right now. Running, heavy breathing. <sighs> I'm a sweaty mess, but I just passed this super sweet old man and I scared the crap out of him. And when I came around, he's like, oh, okay. But I wanted to show y'all my sweat. <laughs> Thought I could get a jog in in between the uh, the rain and the other rain, and it turns out I I didn't make it. So I just went for a jog, and I was wondering why my cell phone pocket was on the wrong side, and then I realized that my pants are on inside out. I also considered starting my own bug channel just because of the sheer amount of bugs, especially spiders, that come visit me. I don't understand it, but it seems to be a trend. And he came straight at me. Look, he's so aggressive. <sighs> I'm starting to get um, super concerned with the ginormous freaking bugs that I've been seeing since it's stopped raining kind of i just came home to this one getting the mail he's bringing it home to his wife or maybe maybe that's a she and like that's the breadwinner or the bug winner i guess maybe they're not friends oh <gasps> he's running away he's like no no this is mine Hey, so my Saturdays aren't that lame. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my apartment, but I have like a gnat infestation. So I come home, I clean up all the dead bodies of the gnats, and then it looks like this. it's raining really hard outside but I don't know how these things are coming in okay um, I can't really tell you how um, much I kind of want to puke a little bit right now but I got the dude off the ceiling and he is now here in this jar and he is a big puppy oh my god <laughs> why um, so I was just carrying a little spider to transport him out of my room and then suddenly I wasn't. But for real, am I some sort of spider queen? Is it my face? Is it my hair? Do I smell? Like what? I had a lot of firsts moving to Japan. My first Hanami. Hi! Welcome to my first Hanami! I'm 
My first typhoon. I to firemen, I think. And of course, I don't speak Japanese, and so we're trying to use Google Translate, but basically they're saying that later I might have to evacuate. Okay, prepping for the typhoon. Got my bags packed. Tub is full. Everything is moved out of my room into the middle room. In, let everyone know that I am okay up here in the mountains. We got a lot of rain and a lot of wind um, and my power is out, but thankfully um, I think everyone in my town is okay. Um, with that though, because there's no power, I have no hot water. And so this morning I got to take a freezing cold washcloth bath. Mm. My first meth city. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this weekend has been so much fun. I've gone to two festivals, Matsuri's, and they gave us a fan, they gave us this, they gave us a neck wrap. And even my first experience dating a Japanese person. Wow, very exciting. My first Christmas in Japan. And these are things from my childhood. Baby's first Christmas. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I'm so happy. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and Dad. And my first New Year's in Japan.